back to tonight's conditions, Robert, can we expect even more slick roads heading into the overnight hours? Now with the cold conditions, we'll certainly see some slick spots out there across the area, highways and byways. A live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam, part of the Storm Team Sky Cam Network. Roadways wet, but as temperatures continue to drop, a lot of those wet roadways will start to see some ice develop, and those secondary roads still have some slick conditions out there. Could still see a few flurries over the next few hours, but the steadier snow has pushed well off towards the south. It is 15 degrees now. Feels more like three with those winds out of the northwest at nine. Moorhead, a few degrees colder at 12 degrees. Temperatures elsewhere, five in Devil's Lake, also five in Langdon, seven in Thief River Falls, nine up in Roseau, 13 over in Bemidji. You factor in those winds and those winds not terribly strong, but they are gusting at times upwards of 20 miles per hour, and that's creating some very cold wind chills. It's cold as 12 below in Devil's Lake, 13 below in Langdon, 3 above in Grand Forks, minus 6. Over in Thief River Falls, we'll continue to see temperatures falling as we head through the overnight hours. Thicker clouds have pushed off towards the south, but a bank of lower clouds has developed behind the front, and that will continue to sag off toward the south. Underneath those clouds, we are seeing some Flurry activity developing, and we'll see that chance for some flurries over the next few hours. Again, the steadier snow has pushed well off toward the south, and it's dissipating as it moves off towards the south. But it has left behind that coating of snow over much of the area, so there will be some slick conditions tonight. And as temperatures continue to drop down into the single digits and even single digits below zero across the north, the snow melting uh, materials on the roads become less and less effective. That snow stretches all the way over into parts of the western Great Lakes, off towards the west, some lower elevation rain, higher elevation snow, and some showers and thunderstorms making their way through the Gulf Coast states. For us, as we head through the rest of the night, we will have that chance for some flurries and downwind of some of the larger lakes, upper and lower Red Lake, and even Lake of the Woods, you may see some snow, shower, flurry activity continuing, and put some minus signs in front of all of these. It's going to be a very cold night out there, single digits above and below zero for overnight lows. Tomorrow we'll see some sunshine, but don't look for much of a warm up. We'll see high temperatures only getting into the teens across the area. And then tomorrow night, another very cold night with single digit lows in many locations above and below zero, increasing clouds late tomorrow night. Here in Fargo, we'll start off the day around four, but we'll have wind chills below zero to start off the day. Not much of a warm up by lunchtime into the mid teens with wind chills in the single digits. And after topping out around 18, back down to around 16 by your drive time home. As we take a look at that picture of the day, it's a gorgeous one. Moose on the loose, two moose on the loose in hope. Thanks so much to Todd for sending that in. Going to use that at the background to our seven-day forecast. And it's going to be a frigid Thursday, but warmer temperatures on Friday, and that may spark off some northern snow showers. More snow showers possible, especially very early on Veterans Day, so tailgaters may see a few flakes before the big game on Saturday at NDSU and then much warmer air into the 40s next week. Oh, I cannot wait for that. That'll be so nice. It's going to feel summer-like. Yeah, well, compared yeah. to this. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Robert. You got it.